Hi, welcome to watch this video. Today we will leave TBC and show you how to import MX9 data to Trimble MX, known as TMX. Same as TBC, you can get a free demo license to evaluate the TMX software. Today I will use TMX Asset Modeler to demonstrate the steps, which apply to Trimble MX Content Manager and Publisher as well. Let's have a quick review of what deliverables TBC has exported for TMX. In the TBC project folder, we have got a trajectory file, several camera folders for images, and a laser folder for point clouds. We will revisit the same folder several times for elements. In TMX, click the Procedure button at the left bottom corner. Then expand Administration, Mobile Mapping, and select Import Run. We will first find a directory to save the new run. You may use the Browse button to find a location, but I prefer to go back to the original MX9 data folder. Create a subfolder. Call it TMX, then use it as a container for all upcoming TMX projects. Open it, copy and paste the folder path back into TMX. Then give this new run a name. To import MX9 data, we need to use a proper MX9 template. If you don't have it, you can contact your local Trimble dealer or representative to get it. Click the plus button Copy and paste the template file path Enter the folder The OMR file is what we need to load it's a one-time operation. Next time when you import other MX9 datasets, this template should be loaded and ready to go. Next, we need to find the same coordinate system we used in TBC, so the MX9 point cloud will display at the correct position. Click the CRS button. You may use the search box to find the correct projection. Click OK, then click Create Run. An import wizard will guide us through the following steps. Step 1 is to load the trajectory file. Click Choose File. Use the same copy and paste method to locate our TBC export folder. Then select the trajectory CSV file. Hit the next icon. Now we need to import all the images from the panoramic camera, side cameras, and back down camera. There are two parts in these image import steps. Part 1 is to import their positions. Part 2 is to relocate those images from the TBC folder to the TMX folder. Part 2 can be skipped for now. Click Choose File. TMX is asking for panorama image positions, so we get into the panorama folder. View by details, then click on the item type 
headline. So the reference CSV can jump to the top of the list. Click next to do the same thing if you also have side camera images and back down images to import. If all of them are not available, keep clicking the next button to skip the responding, corresponding step. Time to import the point cloud. It can be time consuming to import the point cloud, therefore TMX provides two options. You may delegate to task manager so you can perform this task at a more convenient time. Or you may start importing right away. Click on start now. Go to the lasers folder. Select the LAS files from left and right lasers. While TMX is importing the point cloud and converting it to its local format, we can use this time window to relocate all the images. It will be much easier to operate when the TBC folder and the TMX folder are aligned vertically. Let's start with the panorama images. All the images need to go to their camera folder, then into the original subfolder. Control A to select all the files. The CSV file can be moved together as well. Then Control X to cut the files. And Control V to paste them to the destination. Now jump back one level on the TBC side and two levels on the TMX side. Repeat the same procedure for the side camera images and back down camera images, if, appl if applicable. All set. Back in TMX, the point cloud import is also complete. Click Next in the Import Wizard and fill in some metadata about this run as needed. Don't forget to click the Finish Procedure button at the end. Now the dataset can be utilized in TMX. Thank you for watching. See you next time.